Welcome to another lecture on Fourier transform. So today we will see very interesting property or interesting formula of Fourier transform that is how to find the Fourier transform of derivative of a function means if f of x or f of t is given then how to find the Fourier transform of f dash x or f dash t that we are going to see and uh, this formula is very useful and uh, very the application will be found in many engineering problems mathematics and science problems so where it is used so when we solve uh, differential equation ordinary differential equation or partial differential equation then we go through the exact method so exact method will be complicated many times okay so to avoid the complicacy we can go with the transformation method or Fourier transform we can apply then we can apply inverse Fourier transform and we can get the general solution so first here we will see how to derive the formula okay so before deriving the formula we, we need to see the statement okay so the statement says let f of x be continuous function on x axis and f of x tends to 0 when mod x tends to infinity so mod x tends to infinity means x tends to infinity and minus x tends to minus infinity okay let f dash x be absolutely integrable on x axis then what we have the Fourier transform of f dash x will be i w Fourier transform of f of x so we will uh, now solve it so how to do so Fourier transform of f dash x okay so this if we write the formula and in, in place of f we, if we write f dash x then it will be square root of 2 pi means 1 by square root of 2 pi integration from minus infinity to infinity f dash x e to the power minus i w x dx so this is the formula now how to solve this formula if you see there is two function in this integral there, there are two functions one is f dash x another is e to the power minus i w x so what we will do we can take one as first function and another as second function if i take first function second function and apply integration by part rule then we can solve it so let us do that so factor will remain same 1 by square root of 2 pi okay within bracket so first function is this second function is f dash x so it will be what f of x okay e to the power minus i w x okay and the limit is minus infinity to infinity okay that you have to do what you have done here we have taken the integration of f dash x okay and we have kept the first function as it is and solved okay like this so minus d by dx of e to the power minus i w x okay into integration of f dash x okay then dx is minus infinity to infinity now if we solve it so what we will get here so 1 by square root of 2 pi okay then within bracket here f of x so what we will do here we have to put uh, x value infinity then we have to uh, solve this one and minus then we have to put x equal to minus in that we will see what is that so it will be f of infinity into e to the power minus i w x just you write as it is because we are not putting x value anything because it will come we will see that so this at x equal to infinity okay minus f of minus infinity e to the power minus i w x at x equal to minus infinity so this one okay 
minus this so this derivative of e to the power minus i w x with respect to x will be what minus i w into e to the power minus i w x okay then f of x this one dx minus infinity to infinity okay now here how to find f of the infinity f of minus infinity that we have to see here we saw f of x tends to 0 for f of x tends to 0 for mod x tends to infinity mod x tends to infinity means what x tends to infinity then x tends to minus infinity so both the case f of x will be 0 or 10 to 0 okay so this means what minus infinity less than x kind of this we can write okay so when both the value uh, x value is infinity minus infinity both the uh, case f of x will be 0 so this one will be 0 so this one will be the total will be 0 so finally what we will get 1 by square root of this 2 pi plus this or we can write it 0 then plus i w okay minus infinity to infinity this f of x e to the power minus i w x dx okay again what we will do this if we solve we will get what i w into 1 by square root of 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity f of x e to the power minus i w x dx but what is this integral this integral is nothing but the Fourier transform of f of x so we will get i w into Fourier transform of f of x which is our RHS and proved so in this way we can uh, find now next thing is that if we know uh, first derivative then what will be second derivative means Fourier transform of f double dash x what will be this so this will be very easy what i w into Fourier transform of f dash x that you have to write then we know again Fourier transform of f dash x so it will be i into i w sorry i w into i w into f of f of x that is minus w square f of f of x like that we can find and so on okay so for third derivative fourth derivative successive derivatives uh, what will be the Fourier transform that we can find through this formula